Hello, my name is Sean Bianco from 3CX. This training consists of a series of video tutorials which will take you through the setup, configuration and maintenance of 3CX phone system. These video tutorials will prepare you for the 3CX certification test. In this nugget, we will show how to configure outbound core routing in 3CX phone system. You need to configure the PBX to identify outbound calls and how these calls should be handled. You will need to let the PBX know which calls should be routed to your PSTN gateway or VoIP provider. In addition, you can also use outbound rules to route calls to bridges. Outbound rules can also be used to perform least cost routing. This means that the PBX will automatically choose to make a call on a line which incurs the least cost. Let's proceed to configure an outbound rule. You can create new outbound rules from the 3CX Management Console's Outbound Rules node. Click on the Add Outbound Rule button. Configure the name of the new rule. In the middle section you can configure the matching criteria and you can configure the routes to be taken when the matching criteria is matched from the bottom section. Let's cover these in more detail. From the matching criteria section, you configure the rules which need to be matched for this rule to be triggered. You can have this rule triggered for numbers which start with a specific prefix. For example, some companies require the employees to dial a digit, and let's say this digit is 0, to get to an outside line. In this case, the rule will be configured to match any number starting with 0. In some countries, numbers from each provider start with a specific number. This is shown in the screenshot below, whereby all the external numbers start with the digits configured. When configuring matching criteria based on a prefix, you can define multiple prefixes by separating them with a comma. In addition, you can define multiple consecutive numbers by using a dash. You can also have this rule triggered for calls from specific extensions. This can be used when you want a specific line to be reserved for one or a few extensions. The rule can also be triggered for calls to numbers of a specific length. This is useful if the external numbers are all of the same length. You can also configure the rule to match calls from a specific extension group. Note that if multiple criteria are configured, all the criteria need to be matched for the rule to be triggered. After you have configured the matching criteria, you need to select the route for this outbound rule. You can select to route calls to a pre-configured PSTN gateway, VoIP provider or bridge. You can select the strip digits from the number. This is useful when the rule is triggered by a prefix that the user must dial to get to an outside line, for example a zero. You can also select the prepend numbers if this is needed. This is useful when you want the country or area code to be prepended. In some cases, your line provider might require you to dial a prefix which you will need to configure here. You can also define backup routes. Backup routes are used when the primary route is not available. For example, you might configure an outbound route to forward all calls which start with the German country code through your German VoIP provider. If the VoIP provider is not available, such as when you have an issue with your internet connection, you can have a backup route which routes calls to Germany via your PSTN gateway. Outbound rules come in handy when you are using multiple providers and want to route calls through the different providers. In the example shown in the screenshot, we have configured 3CX phone system to route local calls through the pattern gateway, which is attached to a local line. Since this company does a lot of business in Germany, we purchased a VoIP line from a German VoIP provider. This is used for all calls starting with the German country code. We have also configured a bridge to the office in London. Any calls starting with 2 or 0044 are routed through this bridge. All the extensions in our London office start with 2. Thus no digits need to be stripped for such calls. Bridges will be covered in more detail in the advanced track. In certain situations, you might need to define the order of the rules. For example, you want all outbound calls with the prefix of 5 to go through a gateway. However, you want calls starting with the prefix 5 from the CEO's extension to go through another gateway that has a line reserved for him. In this case, 
the outbound rule for the CEO extension would be given a higher priority and thus needs to be moved up on top of the other rule. And that leads us to the conclusion of this series of courses in which we covered in great detail the configuration of VoIP providers, PST and gateways and both inbound and outbound rules. In the upcoming nuggets, we shall be covering ring groups and digital receptionists. You can find more training material at the link provided. Thanks for watching.